Gearing up next phase is going to be so fast that if you're working on any characters at the moment, I would be inclined to hold off until reset day. And this is because I noticed something on the PTR today, which is absolutely crazy, albeit normal, kind of. Even in the original 4.1 patch all the way back in 2011, they considered Zolgurub and Zola Man to be a step up in difficulty, and the random heroic queue for these dungeons gave double Valor points. Now, that would have only been 140 back then, because 70 was the standard for each heroic. We're going to be getting 480 Valor points per heroic, which is absolutely mental. Obviously, we get 240 for the random heroics, which is just the standard tier 11 heroics, let's call them. But for Zolgarb and Zolaman, 480 per heroic, which is obviously absolutely insane, but in a really good way. Now, when you look back originally, of course, there was no rolling cap like we have now. There was lots of caveats and little minor things back in the day, which we haven't got to worry about because of the rolling Valor Point cap that we get now. But actually, you had to do Zolgarab and Zolaman if you wanted to get fully capped because you wouldn't be able to reach the cap just from doing the regular tier 11 heroics. But anyway, this on top of the fact that there's actually going to be more BOE items floating around on the auction house now, and they'll be super cheap just because of how accessible they are that between just spamming the two new heroics and buying some of the cheaper BOEs off the auction house, you could literally be ready to raid heroic raids in a single day, which is obviously a good thing. And when I say a single day, I mean, you're going to have to be spamming those heroics and getting through them successfully, but it's not going to take too long to get three pieces of tear, a trinket, a cape, a ring, and then whatever 353 items that you pick up in Zolgarab and Zola Man on top of BOEs that you can go and buy and crafted gear that you can buy from the auction house, you could be literally ready to walk into heroic tier 11 raids in a day. And again, it is a good thing because people just want to get in and see the raid as soon as possible when Firelands comes out. But the 353 BOEs that you'll be able to buy off the auction house or obviously win in the dungeon itself, there's a couple of cloaks, rings, tank braces, some cloth and leather gloves, and a one-handed mace. None of this stuff is groundbreaking, don't get me wrong, but again, when you're just trying to get geared up as quickly as possible on a fresh level 85, buying any of these cheap 353s before you start spamming heroics, or even the actual Zolgarab and Zolaman heroics theirself, it's just going to help out. And honestly, I would see these things going for low hundreds of gold, not thousands. Put in the fact that you'll be able to Valor Cap each week in about four Zolgarab or Zolamans a week, there is something pretty big missing from the PTR, which originally landed in 4.1, and due to the fact that if you've been playing your main since the start of Cata launching, the odds are you don't need Valor. You might, you might be capping every week just because why not, but... You're probably not actually spending it on anything because there's nothing to spend it on. Well, originally in 4.1, this is where they added the PvE to PvP and PvP to PvE currency exchange system. This is not on the PTR at the moment. Like I say, it was originally added in the Rise of the Zandalari patch, and I have absolutely no idea why a week before launch it doesn't look like it's there. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, this is where you can exchange 250 Valor Points for 250 Conquest, and also Honor to Justice, or Justice to Honor, but at a reduced rate either way. It doesn't sound like a big deal, but if I could be grabbing some PvP gear with my Valor Points rather than them just building up with nothing to spend them on, it might actually encourage me to do more PvP, because I can get gear, I'm not going to feel behind, it's not going to be as much of a slog, you know, grinding out the pvp gear to begin with anyway because i can just use my pve currency to get them i know it's not a big deal and i'm one of those that said they was going to do loads of pvp and cataclysm and if i'm completely honest i haven't queued for a single battleground yet but i would rather be spending my valor on something that i'm not going to use very often versus something literally sitting there doing absolutely nothing now there is one more pretty significant thing as well that's currently missing which absolutely should come in now and did originally in 4.1 as well and that's maelstrom crystals being on the justice goods vendor currently on the ptr they're on the honor trades good vendor but not the justice vendor now if you haven't seen my last video where i was talking about everything to do with zolgarab and zola man I mentioned that Maelstrom Crystals are absolutely going to tank in price. The ability to farm endless amounts from Zolgarab and Zola Man, which means these enchants like Power Torrent or Landslide, I mean, they are going to landslide in price. <laughs> Good one. Well done. No? So if you've got loads of Maelstroms lying around, you're better off selling them right now. 
you'll be able to buy them back much, much cheaper in just over a week. So don't just hold on to them if you can get rid of them now and then build them back up very, very quickly and make a tidy profit. Anyway, back to the point. If they're going to be so accessible, why are they not on the vendor, on the PTR? This is something definitely that needs to change. And as I say, it's not changing anything at all. This is the precise moment in time where they were added originally, and it made sense then, and it still makes sense now. Being able to even run the standard tier 11 heroics to be able to get justice points to then trade justice points in for Maelstrom crystals, to be able to make getting your enchants on your ults or whatever even cheaper, it has to be done. Now, hopefully, up until this point, you found the video informational and enjoyed it. Obviously, if you have, like and subscribe. Drop a comment down below telling me why I smell. And I'm going to leave you with uh, another thing that I'd like to see come in 4.1, which, don't worry, it's not Molten Front. We've already spoke about that. It's something else where I wanted to leave it right until the end and after you've clicked subscribe and you've liked and stuff, because when you hear me say it, you might leave. Blizzard, it is time. We know the system has its flaws and many people love it and many hate it. The ones that hate it are normally the enchanters. I think it's going to give you a clue as to what I'm talking about. But we need that disenchant button in dungeons. Now, having two new heroic dungeons where you can reliably get lots of Maelstrom crystals from that DE button should just be put into the game. My main is an enchanter, and I won't want to see any of those epics go to waste and end up being vended. Just add the bloody button. So then everybody in that group with an enchanter has a chance at walking out with a couple of maelstroms that they can put on the auction house and feel like doing their 23rd Zolgarabal a day was definitely worthwhile. It is something I've wanted to see added for a while, and I completely understand why Blizzard are hesitant about it, because it's never been clear cut whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. But in my opinion, it has far more benefits than negatives. If you'd prefer the gold from vendor and an item, press the greed button. If you'd prefer enchanting mats, press the DE button. If you need the item, I probably don't need to tell you which one you then press. It changes next to nothing, apart from maybe it hurts an enchanter's pocket a little bit because there's going to be far more enchanting mats in existence, which I actually consider a good thing. Some of the enchants at the moment are ludicrous gold and make it almost impossible for the average player to turn up to raids with the best possible enchants on pre-raid gear or even upgraded 359 eye level tier gear most people are waiting to put the real big, big enchants on their 372 bis that they know they're not going to change until Firelands. Which really isn't ideal, is it? Like, you want to put the best enchant possible on every upgrade that you get. But when, essentially, they're thousands of gold for a single enchant, and I know Maelstrom Crystals play a big, big part of that, but any way that we can alleviate that, I just see as a positive. So having that disenchant button come in as well in the next phase just absolutely makes sense in my opinion. You can tell me why I'm wrong in the comments because I like reading uh, your thoughts, obviously. There's no right or wrong answer to whether the disenchant button should be added. I'd just be intrigued to see how many of you want it and how many of you don't. Again, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. If you want to join these guys scrolling down the screen now, they've gone down below the video and click the join button and it's just their way of showing extra support. If you want to show extra support, press that join button as well. I'll see you on the next one.